Ah, do you remember that feeling? The one that tingled down your spine as the opening credits rolled on the screen, the anticipation building like a mystery waiting to be unraveled. It was that very first encounter with the 1977 TV series, The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries, that forever imprinted a sense of adventure in your heart. Maybe you were just a kid, sitting cross-legged on the living room floor, or perhaps you stumbled upon it during a late night binge, eyes wide and mind captivated. The show wasn't just a series, it was an invitation to a world of enigmatic puzzles and daring escapades. The iconic theme music resonated with promises of secrets hidden in shadows and suspense around every corner. Remember those characters who leapt from the pages of your childhood mysteries and became real before your eyes. Frank and Joe Hardy with their unyielding determination and Nancy Drew with her fearless curiosity, each left an indelible mark on your imagination. And then there were those moments that remain etched in your memory, like hidden gems waiting to be discovered once more. The way your heart raced when the Hardy Boys stumbled upon a new clue, or the sense of camaraderie that developed between the trio as they pieced together the intricate web of each case. Those hours spent in rapt attention, engrossed in the chase, trying to unravel the threads of deception along with your favorite young detectives. But enough reminiscing. Let's delve deeper into the show that shaped so many young minds, unveiling some intriguing and lesser-known facts about the Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries. After all, behind every mystery, there's a story waiting to be unveiled, just like the episodes that unfolded before you all those years ago. Did you know that the show's creators navigated the delicate balance between two beloved book series, weaving a narrative that blended the essence of both worlds seamlessly? And the cast, their chemistry extended beyond the screen, forming bonds that enriched the on-screen dynamics. As we journey through these fascinating tidbits, you'll find yourself nodding in recognition, discovering new layers to a show you thought you knew inside out. So, get ready to step back into the past and uncover the secrets that surrounded your favorite teen detectives. These intriguing insights will shed light on the mysteries that went beyond the scripted pages, making you smile, reminisce, and perhaps even inspire a rewatch. The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries was a popular TV series that aired in 1977, combining the detective skills of two iconic literary characters. The show drew inspiration from the respective book series created by authors Edward Straitmeyer and Carolyn Keene. It followed the adventures of amateur sleuths Frank and Joe Hardy, alongside Nancy Drew, as they unraveled mysteries in their hometown and beyond. The series seamlessly blended elements of mystery, suspense, and adventure, capturing the essence of the original books while introducing a new generation to the beloved characters. The show featured distinctive characters, the Hardy brothers, known for their resourcefulness and courage, and Nancy Drew, a clever and tenacious investigator. The chemistry among the main characters brought depth to their relationships and enhanced the show's appeal. The mysteries they tackled ranged from classic whodunits to the supernatural, adding variety and intrigue to each episode. This unique blend of genres contributed to the show's distinct style and kept viewers engaged. The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries had a lasting impact on popular culture. It introduced a new dimension to the detective genre on television, catering to a wide audience of all ages. The show's engaging storytelling and memorable characters left an indelible mark, paving the way for subsequent adaptations and spin-offs. Beyond the TV screen, the series extended its influence to merchandise, books, and fan communities, further solidifying its place in cultural history. Random facts about the show, Pamela Sue Martin and Sean Cassidy portrayed Nancy Drew, and Joe Hardy, respectively, gaining recognition for their performances. The series featured a mix of traditional mysteries and supernatural elements, showcasing its willingness to explore diverse themes. The show's theme song, Those Were the Days, performed by the cast members, became synonymous with the series. The series' successful run lasted for three seasons, captivating audiences from 1977 to 1979. In conclusion, The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries remains a timeless representation of detective fiction on television. Its fusion of mystery, adventure, and character dynamics has left an enduring legacy in popular culture, appealing to generations of fans and showcasing the enduring allure of investigative storytelling. 
Jamie Lee Curtis in the enigmatic audition for Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys. Nancy Drew mysteries in a casting twist that could rival any mystery plot. The 1977 TV series The Hardy Boys. Nancy Drew mysteries nearly saw a different face as the iconic teen sleuth Nancy Drew. Jamie Lee Curtis, the emerging starlet of the time, auditioned for the role that eventually went to Pamela Sue Martin. Curtis, now known for her acclaimed career, added a unique chapter to her journey by vying for the part of the teenage detective. Curtis, fresh off her role in Halloween, brought her signature charm and energy to the audition room. The producers, undoubtedly impressed, found themselves in a puzzling predicament, a choice between Curtis and Martin, each with their own distinct allure. While Curtis didn't land the role, fate had another plan. She later appeared as a guest star in an episode titled Mystery of the Fallen Angels, demonstrating her versatility within the world of mystery and intrigue. As the curtain rose on the Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries, it was clear that the casting dice had rolled in favor of Pamela Sue Martin. However, Curtis' connection to the show didn't end with her audition. Her guest appearance showcased her talents, hinting at the trajectory of a remarkable career that would continue to unfold in the years to come. In the ever-unfolding narrative of Hollywood, Jamie Lee Curtis' brush with the Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries stands as a captivating what-if moment. The series, a classic of its era, remains a testament to the intrigue that exists both on and off the screen. In the 1977 TV series The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries, Edith Atwater and Herb Boland, known for their roles as Gertrude Hardy and Chief Colleg, shared a unique connection. Surprisingly, prior to their roles on the show, the two actors had portrayed a married couple on the series Love on a Rooftop. This seamless transition from one on-screen relationship to another demonstrates their remarkable chemistry and versatility as performers. The series also welcomed a rising star into its cast, Sean Cassidy, the younger half-brother of musician David Cassidy. A burgeoning teen pop sensation, Sean's musical talents were cleverly woven into the show's fabric. Writers skillfully integrated his interests, allowing his character to engage with music-related storylines. This integration not only added depth to the character, but also showcased Sean's multifaceted abilities. Merchandising for the series proved to be as intriguing as the mysteries themselves. Fans could bring their favorite characters home through action figures, immersing themselves further into the thrilling world of the show. Additionally, a series of puzzle books, offered both individually and as a gift set, extended the entertainment beyond the screen. These interactive merchandise items captured the essence of the series' intrigue, allowing viewers to become detectives in their own right. From shared acting history to ingenious integration of musical pursuits and captivating merchandising, the Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries left an indelible mark on television history. Its ability to engage audiences both on and off screen stands is a testament to its enduring appeal. In a surprising twist for fans of the Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries, the iconic 1977 TV series, Janet Julian stepped into Pamela Sue Martin's shoes during the second half of its second season. This marked a pivotal change as Nancy Drew's solo escapades came to a halt. While Julian joined forces with the Hardy Boys, ABC continued to air Martin's episodes during rerun periods, keeping her presence alive. The plot took another unexpected turn in the third season, with Nancy Drew being altogether written out of the series. The show's title was revamped to the succinct Hardy Boys, indicating a shift in focus. But the intrigue doesn't end there. Edith Atwater and Herb Voland, the accomplished actors portraying Gertrude Hardy, and Chief Colleg, respectively, shared a previous on-screen connection. Their chemistry had already been explored in Love on a Rooftop, where they portrayed a married couple. This dynamic duo brought an extra layer of authenticity to their roles, undoubtedly adding to the show's appeal. Enter Sean Cassidy, the series' rising star with a double life. As the younger half-brother of famed musician David Cassidy, Sean was already making waves as a teen pop sensation. The show's creators ingeniously incorporated his musical inclinations into the storylines, showcasing his talents while unraveling mysteries. This harmonious blend of acting and musical prowess created a unique synergy that resonated with audiences far and wide. In the ever-unfolding tale of the Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries, the unexpected twists behind the scenes are as captivating as the enigmas the young detectives tackle on screen.
From casting changes to artistic integrations, the show remains a testament to the creativity and adaptability of television during that era. So, whether you're reminiscing about the collaborations of Julian and the Hardy Boys, tracing the intriguing on-screen partnership of Atwater and Voland, or nodding along to Sean Cassidy's tunes entwined with mystery, a legacy of the Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries continues to intrigue and inspire, proving that even in the world of television, solving a puzzle takes more than meets the eye. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of the Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries, it's as if we're locking the hidden chambers of our own nostalgia. Like the carefully woven threads of a mystery waiting to be unraveled, this show has etched its enigma into the sands of time. Each episode, a portal to a world where suspense danced with youthful curiosity, beckons us to linger a moment longer in its embrace. From the first tentative steps taken alongside Frank and Joe Hardy, to the thrilling deductions made alongside the ever-inquisitive Nancy Drew, we embarked on a journey that spanned generations. The unraveling of secrets, the forging of unbreakable friendships, and the thrill of solving the unsolvable, the show etched these experiences into our very souls. So now, as the final scene fades into memory, I invite you to take a moment to reflect. What's your cherished memory? Was it the heart-pounding chase scenes or the moments of quiet introspection? The witty banter between characters or the pulse-quickening revelations that left you at the edge of your seat. Share with us the fragments of your heart that this series claimed as its own. Remember, it's not just a show, it's a tapestry woven with our emotions, dreams, and late-night theories. As the echoes of mysteries past resonate within you, take this opportunity to share your thoughts, your laughter, and your love for the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew. Let's keep the fires of this timeless intrigue burning, each memory a testament to its enduring impact. Thank you for joining me in this journey down memory lane, for sharing your thoughts, and for keeping the spirit of the Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries alive. Your time and interest are truly valued, a testament to the bond forged by a shared passion for mystery and adventure. Until our paths cross again, keep those memories alive and those deductions sharp. Stay curious, stay captivated, and remember, the mysteries of the past continue to shape the stories of the present.